everyone. My name is Taylor Cluel. My name is Grace Quigley. We are academic coaches at the Dennis Learning Center at Ohio State. Today we're going to be talking about best tips and practices when using Carmen Zoom. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to be making a meeting with Taylor. So this is my main profile on Carmen Zoom. I'm going to head on over to meetings. I'm going to schedule a new meeting. I'm going to type in my topic. So meeting with Taylor. I'm going to schedule the time. I want to set it for, let's say, 1030 AM. And I want to meet today, so the 20th. Make sure the time zone is correct. Everything else should be OK default. I'm going to press Save. I'm going to copy this invitation right here. And I am going to head on over to my email, paste this meeting, and send it on over. So it looks like I got a meeting invite from Grace. So what I can do now is copy the join Zoom meeting link. I'll click join. Enter that meeting link. There's me. And then I'll go ahead and select join with computer audio. While I'm waiting for Grace to join, I'm going to go ahead and check my surroundings. I am pretty sure that I'm not going to be interrupted by a dog barking or by my family, but nonetheless, the best practice is to keep yourself on mute during big lectures or big meetings so that in case something does happen in your environment that you can't control, you don't distract others. You want to make sure that your background isn't distracting in and of itself. For me, I'm going to go ahead and close the door and remove my baby pictures from the background. If you can't find a suitable environment, you can always utilize the virtual background feature that's in Zoom. You go to the little carrot that's next to the video icon in the bottom left of your screen and click virtual background. I would recommend that you stay away from this unless it's absolutely necessary because it can be distracting. And now I have the Zoom app, so I'm going to go ahead and click open Zoom. Hopefully it'll bring us over here. We're going to join with computer audio. We're going to press start video. And now we're joined. All right, so now that we're in Zoom and we're ready to go, Grace and I are just going to talk through a few quick tips and best practices for how to use Carmen Zoom. OK, so the first thing we're going to go over is the chat option. So if you look down at your lower uh, bar, you'll see an icon that says chat. So if we go ahead and open that up. It'll pull up a window that says Zoom group chat, right? So we can choose to either send it to everyone in the meeting or just personal messages. So for now, I'm just going to choose private messages. And you can see above we said hi and hello. We'll do the same thing. Say hi, Taylor. Okay. So I'll send that to her, and she should get a notification. Send it right back. Okay. So another cool thing that you can do is you can also send back a file. So if I wanted to send anything over here, I could send them a document, which is a great option. Or on the other hand, I could go into the everyone and send it to everyone in the meeting. For this purpose, it's just the two of us, so it'll still go to her, but you can see the difference. Hi, everyone. So it says from me to everyone. So Zoom group chat is a great way if you're having any technical difficulties, if you have a question that maybe you can't interrupt your professor at the time, or you just need to message another group member or something along those lines. One of the great ways that you can work collaboratively through Zoom, like Grace mentioned with sharing files in chat, you can also share files by sharing your screen. Here, you'll click on the bottom button that says share screen in Zoom, and then from here you get a lot of options about what to share. Today, we're going to focus on sharing your desktop, but I could also choose specifically to share a Microsoft Word document. So here you can see this is what my desktop looks like. If I wanted to show specifically this document, I could move it into the frame and open it up so that Grace can see it. We want to share three tips for troubleshooting on Carmen Zoom. The first is checking out the Zoom website. It will be your friend. I'll go ahead and open it up. So here's my Zoom profile. Over here on the left, you can see that there's a little white box. You can open up video tutorials and view a live training on basic techniques for using Carmen Zoom. 
You can also open up Knowledge Base, and that will help you um, with a variety of techniques as well. If you're having trouble with Wi-Fi or you just can't quite get the hang of the Zoom app, you can always call in to a Zoom meeting. Here, I can show you the best way to do that. You can go back to this Zoom invite that I showed you earlier and select one tap mobile from your mobile device and it will just automatically enter you into the Zoom chat that you need to be in based on the invite that you received. Finally, chat feature is also going to be super helpful. If you go ahead and open up chat, you can see where Grace and I were going back and forth earlier. Here, you could also shoot out a quick SOS message to a friend or to the whole class, and chances are someone will be able to help you figure it out. For example, if I say, SOS, my audio isn't working, Grace may be able to reply and explain how to get back on. This is definitely new to everyone, and there's going to be some technical difficulties along the road. Um, but as long as we be patient, use all of our resources, um, checking out the videos online, and just having an open communication with your professors or whoever you're meeting with, things should work out okay. If your lecture's over or your meeting is over, you can go ahead and go to the bottom right-hand corner and click Leave Meeting. So hopefully that was helpful and provide you with some helpful strategies and tips for using Carmen Zoom for your online classes. There are more tips, strategies, and personalized handouts for online classes that we have created specifically for this online transition. The Dennis Learning Center is offering online coaching appointments, which you can schedule at the link below, or I'll also insert it here on the screen. Feel free to make an appointment for any help that you may need with the transition to online coursework. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.